guys well I'm back now so what we're going to do now is have a look at another one of these the same as what I've just done on one of my other videos but we're going to have a look at it, doing it slightly a bit different so the other one before we did the voltage drop here and the current for these ones I'm just going to swap it around so that we do a few little things different so you get an idea of how to break down it gives you as much example work as possible so I'm going to do voltage drop for this one and current for this one so I've still used the three things that we need to find okay so we've got power voltage drop and current they're always going to ask they might only ask you two but if you can work through these three items all right um, this one's probably the most difficult one because I find a lot of people don't understand how they've got to work the difference between these two with doing current and voltage drop and all that well I did that in the last one so I'm just going to work through this for the three steps again so the first thing I need to do is resistance total. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do 1 over 80 plus the 130, okay? And then plus 1 over 75. So the first thing we need to do is 80 plus 130 equal 210. So the first thing we're going to do is going to do 210 over the 1. So that's 1 over 210 plus 75 over 1, we push equals, we put, uh, do it over again 1, and then what do we get? We get 55.2. Okay, so between the three of them, 55.2, plus we've got to add the 95, so we'll add the 95, and it gives us a total of 150.2 ohms. Next thing, current total. I sound like a bit of a broken record when I'm going through these three items, but it's a proof of the pudding is that it makes me get all of the stuff that I need to get out of this circuit without doing four different extra steps. So 150.2 ohms, V over R, voltage over resistance. So 390 divided by... 150.2, all right, equals 2.59 amps, all right. So let's go back. So let's have a look again. And like I said, like a broken record, people go, oh, you keep doing the same process, but proven record. You know, this question is the most failed question in the LET. And when I get apprentices looking for, you know, to come back and understand what they've got to do, I spend the most time on this going through the basics of what I'm going through now. So the idea of these little videos is to give you some groundwork on understanding what you need to do. All right. Okay. So like I said, if you do get anything in parallel and they ask for power or voltage or current or anything, the first step you need to do is get your voltage drop across those three resistors or two resistors. If it was two in parallel, you must get the voltage drop. So voltage drop, what's that going to equal? All right, over here, voltage equals I times R, Ohm's law. All right, that's the basics of everything, I times R. What are my times in the current? Current is 2.59 amps times the total resistance. No, we're not doing the total resistance. We're going to do the combined resistance, 55.2 ohms, all right? That was a value that we had when we worked out all three of these, right? Those three there came to a value of 55.2 ohms. That's a common value that if I was looking at current, instead of the current splitting, going through one resistor of 55.2, that's where we would use a two. So 55.2 um, ohms. Now, that's about the only time we're going to use it this value because we once we find the voltage drop we can apply the other thing other values so here we go so we got 2.59 times 55.2 equals 142.9 volts so that's our voltage drop across here all right so we have 149.2 9 volts 142 sorry 142.9 volts is across these two here so 
I've actually answered the first part. They wanted the voltage drop across this resistor 75. Well, me doing the 149 is the same as going across the 80 and 130. I've already found that. So that voltage drop is what belongs to here. Now, current. <coughs> what's, what's, the, what's the rules for a series circuit? All right. So that's the 55.92, sorry, and the 95, the current stays the same. So I95, which is what I'm looking for in here, I don't have to already do, do, any, do anything for that because I already have the current total. The current total down here, it comes through, separates through here, comes back as one value. So the current flowing through here is already 2.1. 5, 9 amps. So I don't have to do anything. That equals 2.59 amps. There you go. Done. Real simple. All right. Understand your rules. It's pretty much straightforward. Okay. Last one. Power. How do we get that? All right. So power equals, because it's a series circuit, it is actually I squared times R. I could find the voltage drop across here, but that's going to be an extra step. So I squared times R all right this is what i'm going to be looking for because it's a series circuit so the problem is i need to find the current going through there first so i equals v on r all right what's the voltage drop across these two resistors to get that first it was 142.9 okay and the resistance i'm going to add those two together so that was divided by 210, all right? Just remember, I'm looking for the current that's flowing through both of these resistors, all right? All right, so 142.9 divided by 210 equals 0 0.68 amps, all right? Okay, now the next step I need to do is P equals I squared times R. So it's going to be 0 0.68 squared times the 80. And what did we get? Getting a bit squashed here, but we got that 0 0.68. So I'm going to square it, which I've done there, times the 80. And we get... 37.04 watts. So that whole process of getting through here is what we needed. We did the current first. So have a look. We did the current to find the current going through there. I equals V over R. So I did the 142.9, which is a voltage drop across those two resistors. Then I got the two resistors added together because the voltage drop is across those two, not across the 80, across the two. I then did... 210, which is a two added together, gave me 0 0.68 amps. So we know that 0 0.68 was flowing through the two of these resistors. I squared times R, so 0 0.68 squared, which we did here, times the 80, all right, because that's what we were finding, gave me 37.4 watts. All right, anyway, we'll see how we go. Might look a bit quick and all that stuff, but re-look at the video, play it over again, and things will start to slowly come into play. All right.